M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at the all scan interface for all star nodes and probably lots of other things. So normally when I use my node, I go to Supermon, which you can see here on the right. All I have to do is type in the IP address of the all, all star node, then slash Supermon, and here I am and I can control it, I can log in and completely control it. But on the left here, we have all scan. So a big thank you to all scan. They've done a great job of this. You get a lot more from your interface using all scan. I just scroll up here. They've got some good pictures of different nodes that people have made. And it's not actually that hard to make a node. You need a Raspberry Pi. If you want, you can use a radio. You don't have to, but you can use a radio and a sound card, there's a sound card there, and away you go, you're on the all-star system. You do have to register and get yourself an all-star number with uh, all-star link there. Link will be in the description, and then also ham VoIP to download, and then you burn it with something like Bellino or Win32. Burn it to an SD card, put that in your Raspberry Pi that's already connected to probably a radio and sound card, and away you go, you're enjoying the all-star system, and I use Hubnet a lot. Um, please join Hubnet, it's free. Just join in. Uh, lots of ways in. You can get in via, you know, D Star. Let's have a look here. Echo Link, DMR, C4FM, all, lots of ways in. And some connections are via digital and some are analog. So back to the All Star Link. Let's, let's show you how to install this onto your SD card. Now remember, I'm sort of learning, although I have, I've, I've done this successfully once. So go to their GitHub link and it's just here. Look at the top info and download. You'll end up with this page. You need to download a program called WinSCP, which allows you to sort of change and alter the settings in your SD card. And I do this when it's actually in my Raspberry Pi. I just turn it on, I get an IP address. And also you're going to be using PuTTY. Uh, so you'll see that in a sec. So first thing we'll do is go back to the links that we've been given here. We'll open up PuTTY, which we've already downloaded. Just put in the words PU and then PuTTY comes up just here. And we need to put in the IP address that you can see on the right hand side with my Supermon of my node, which is of course turned on 192.168.0.104. And then mine using port 223, but it's normally 222. And when we click open, it's going to ask for our username, which on most nodes is root and then click enter and then type in your password that you put in when your node was set up or when someone else made it for you. Enter and you get to this nice window here. OK, once you're here, have a look at number nine. When you go to number nine, it opens up this little black window, I call it. So you can start entering these commands that we're seeing here on the left. So number nine and at the bottom here, click run selected item. Here we are, we're in this window here. So the first one, if I write, if I just copy it here, copy back to the square. Just make sure my big head's not in the way. Yeah. Right click and then enter. That's the first one. Then we'll just go to the next one, copy again, click over to the black box. You want the green to sort of be highlighted, right click and look, it knows we want to copy things. And it says here that there's no such directory because there isn't an older file for it to, to, to it says here update. So that's fine. We can ignore that. Let's go to the next one. Now I'm, I have learned that when you see the, command w get it's like uh, a way of you're going to upload something yeah you can upload a program it's a bit like searching on windows and finding a program and then downloading it it's a bit like that but it's the you know the linux way of doing things so right click and it's put that in did you see that it straight away said that it's you know it's it's got something yeah see it here so then we just move down to the next line. And this is the bit where you just got to make sure once you do this, you after it, you, we have to remember to put the yes in. We have to say yes, go ahead. Yeah, so let's just right click. We've done that and I think we need to do the next line down. So we've done three lines so far. Now we're going to do the last one. Copy. Back here. 
and then here it says ready to install or scan enter yes so where it's green here the little green square there put a Y and go enter and it's now down downloading and again it wants us to do this again we go Y enter as it sets everything up it will sort of detect your node and it will say to you look when you do use your node yeah and it's again here's another yes okay so that's I've got four yeses um, it will start to tell you oh when you do use it this is the IP address you can use and if you look here HTTP 192.168.0.1 or scan if you use that you're going to get in it's also giving you this here HTTP that's my external IP address so I can actually access this if I'm not at home okay right so once you've got to this point you do need to reboot the node just gonna see if I can just say type in exit here e x i t enter then go to here reboot run selected reboot now there's there is something else we have to do we have to go into a file and make a couple of changes um, that's when we're going to start using WNSCP so download that and then we'll show you what that looks like so using the WinSCP we're going to just remove a couple of colons that you can just see it here on the left it says extensions equals PDO dash SQLite.so and underneath extensions equals SQLite dot Three dot so we move the little colons in front of them and then when we reboot we should be able to log into it and put our name in once you've downloaded WNSCP just search it in the bottom so you can open it and open this file and this is what it looks like and it's pretty much using the same login that we did earlier using using you know the other sort of putty thing so we're going to go new site and put in here 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one oh four now if you can't find the IP address of your node use advanced IP scanner or angry IP it's a free download and it will search your network for you and find your I the IP address of, of your node which is nearly always called alarm pi but you know it could be anything so just use that and I just use my I, in my router I can see everything that's connected so I, that's where I go to see what I'm connected to so we need to put in our state the same password which was root and then my password that would like I said get it off the person that made your node even if it was you and then enter and when you if it logs in correctly you start to get these kind of messages just accept them now we're going to try and find we're going to find that file okay we're in so we'll just click at the top here and go back to root then what if you go down one of them is called etc four from the bottom double click etc then scroll down and you're looking for the php so just there is the php double click and then there's another one here called php ini double click that it's quite a lot to look through I found it's about 50 60 percent down uh, you can right click and search oh yeah thanks to ham radio crusader for his video um, and so I'm just gonna I'll find it if you look here we're about yeah it's about 50 percent down and then we just need to remove those little colons next to the scroll thing so there's one there extension equals my sqil so and you'll see it here on the left again i'll put the link in the description <clears throat> extension pdo sqlite and the one with three so extension pdo there's so many that are really similar aren't they just making sure extension PDO SQLite SO extension PDO SQLite SO there's one there you save at the top here you've got the little blue save thing click save you're gonna have to reboot after this 
And then the other one is extension PDO SQ light. So there's no PDO, so extension, we're looking for SQ light. Oh, I'm sure it's really close. There it is there. Back and then save. So you see here extension SQ light. Like so if I go from the bottom, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine, and then the other one is it's nearer the top. No, that one's already removed. There's the other one now, it's annoying me. <laughs> I can't find it. Yeah, I found it. It's, it's 23 from the top, okay? So extension, PDO, SQ Lite, save. And then we can close this, close it down, click OK. And then we're going to do the reboot thing. So we go back to putty, like so. Put in, start to type PU, and then it will come up. Get your window again. Put the IP address in, 192.168.0.104. And then 223 on mine. Enter root. Then password. Enter. And then we can go to here, number 15, and reboot. You can do so many other things. You can add Wi Fi and things like that. And you could even change your node number. There's quite a lot you can do here. And the other one that's interesting is run asterisk CLI client. You can watch your node working, see all the. Or, or the, um, I don't know, the commands, let's call it. I'm going to click Run, and that means we've definitely reboot it. And now, to find it, we're going to type in the IP address, forward slash all scan. Now, I've never done this on this node ever, so we'll soon find out. Dot one six eight dot zero dot one oh four slash all scan. Okay, and then we're going to click that. And we get this. So this is like the first time window. So it has worked. And we can now, we've got some notes here to make sure we fill this out correctly. So it says at the top that no user has been created. So I have read the notes. I'm just making sure I get everything correct. Might need this if we get in trouble. M0FXB. So we've got my email, we've got a password. My name, UK Western Supermare, the node number, I've said super user, and, I'm, and I've read these notes. I can't see anything that stands out, but read them before you do yours. And I'm going to click Add User. Now, it does straight away ask for this. Now, it's possible that I might have to reboot before I put this in, but we'll try it because the uh, username is um, M0FXB. And put the password in and click login yeah so I might have to reboot and that's it and we're in so your username password that you've just created and I mean there's a lot you can do with this but let's just put in hubnet 41522 and we just click connect See if anyone's about. Nothing at the moment, or is there? There you go. Let's wait for someone to call in. You can disconnect. You've got monitor, add favorites, delete favorites, DTMF. You see the activity there. Users. Mike, seven. You can add users. Settings, that's the one that I did. I think I'm going to change the name to my call sign, M, because I I found putting Andreas in confusing. So I'm going to update that. So I log in now with M0FXB and the password. Um, and um, I'm not going to change the password for now. Um, so yeah, this is fun, isn't it? How do we come out of that? We just go all scan. There we are. Log in. Let's see if that worked. We'll go. Might have to reboot it. M0FXB. Password. Uh, 
login. Yay, so that password changed. Connection status. Updates. Just clicking things here. All star link, updates, keynotes, ASL, all scan, Facebook. So they're on Facebook. That's cool, isn't it? Are we a member? I think we are. Let's go back. Monitor. I wonder who wrote this. I don't know anything about it. My location. At the bottom here, you've got temperature. Node status. That's your. Yeah. Eham. Disconnect. Monitor. Working great. So all the links for Putty. Uh, WNS, w, WSCP will be in the description and everything you need and just drop me some questions if you get stuck let me know thanks for watching my youtube channel bye for now 73